Humans. Today I am going to give you a spoiler-free review of The Mousetrap by Agatha Christie. I love Agatha Christie. I used to stay with my mom on Friday nights, snuggled in our blankets and watching Hercule Poirot on television. I love how Agatha Christie's plays work out, the scenes play really well, the entrances, exits and movements of the characters make sense. The set is always a place where there is continuous movement so everything stays coherent. I love how the whole play is set in one room and is very precisely described and the movements of the people are as well so we can really visualize where the set takes place even if we're not actually seeing the play but reading it. But in this particular play I felt a different thrill than the others. Perhaps it was because there is snow that is preventing us from using the streets, blocking the doors and stuff. The last time I had this kind of fear and apprehension was when I read And Then There Were None. It was so terrifying. I was way too young when I read this play, full disclosure. <laughs> it gave me nightmares for days. I still have shivers just thinking about it. I remember every single thing from this book even though it's been years and I still have that sick feeling of dread and apprehension going with it. Anyway, I'm glad to have read this play now because I was able to overcome my fear and apprehension and so it gave me more excitement. I think I may be able to read and then there were none again because I read this play now. I think I am strong enough for that. I won't give away any spoilers in this video because I heard that when you go see it in, in a theater, the actors actually ask you to keep quiet about who's the, who the murderer is. So I won't tell you, but I can't hide my excitement about the fact that I found out who the murderer was before the end of the, of the story. We had all the evidence up to that point. So It is easier to uncover the truth. But it was just one line, one simple line that made me question myself. Once I did that, it dawned on me. It couldn't be anyone else. Still, the ending was a surprise because I continued to read without putting my knowledge in action. I don't know why. Anyway, I've always loved Agatha Christie's endings because there's always a cute couple <laughs> at the end. If you read any Hercule Poirot, there will always be a cute couple in the end. They get together during the play. And this one has to be my favorite of them all. But I was quite surprised because we don't know everything about the characters by the end of the, of the play. Anyway, this was a pleasure to read. Agatha Christie always gets the mystery so well done. I highly recommend it, as well as all the other plays that she's written, because The Mousetrap isn't that long. There are other plays in it, including And Then There Were None. I don't know if I'm gonna read it. So, if you love mystery, you love Agatha Christie. Anyway, hope you liked this video. If you have any thoughts, put it in the comments below, and I'll try to answer it. I wish you a pleasant day.